Mr. Eugene Smith. Yes. What a guy. What a guy. Lives in the valley, too. Many a great singer songwriter. And just general musicians live in this valley. So I'm actually I'll come over all the way from Salt Spring just to show off. Yeah. Now, I love the whole convoluted part of this. Because, you know, Kara McCandless is, uh, is doing this little uh, mini tour, and it made a lot of sense that we would have her here uh, so we could record it and, and uh, put it out to the public. And so she said, well, look, I got someone opening up, and his name is Ray Martin. Okay, well, Ray Martin. I've never quite heard the name. So I, do, I start doing the, well, where, like, explain, how, where's the connection? Well, I, I know that uh, a brother, and it's, she has, he has a sister that's here that I know, so that's cool. But his sister has a partner who's a musician who's going to be in a band that Kara's husband's going to play drums in and now I'm starting to see how it all fits in. That it's just a big, huge family affair. I love that. What, music, it's just, it is one huge, big family. And one of the things that uh, I've heard and I'm very glad to hear about is uh, this gentleman um, likes country music. Don't you? Sure. That's what I like to hear. Not nearly enough of those out there right now, male singer-songwriters that are doing it in the country. Dennis, as a matter of fact, another one of the McCandless family. It's just get, uh, complicated. Okay. But uh, this gentleman, he's going to give us some time right now to start off the evening. Mr. Ray Martin, give him a warm welcome, please. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, John. Uh, I am Ray Martin, and uh, I wish I was up here with my band. I'm kind of nervous. This is uh, I'm getting back at this, and uh, haven't had much of a chance to practice on my own. But I hope you guys enjoy the show. And uh, nice thing is, uh, you get to hear a bunch of songs you've never heard before. So uh, you don't know how they go. So however I play them will be. Uh, how it goes. <laughs> uh, this first song is called Move On. Her long legs and piercing eyes I guess they had me mesmerized Should've listened to my friend When I said watch out for you and One in one ear and out the other Now I wish I could go on to cover to try and escape what you're putting me through You're gonna drive me to drink The way you just sit and think About all the ways I could be better I think it's time to forget her and move on For a different man Apparently I don't understand Cause I ain't perfect and never claim to be Anyone other than myself I think you better look somewhere else Cause that guy you're looking for sure ain't me You're gonna drive me to drink The way you just sit and think About all the ways I could be better I think it's time to forget her and move on. Playing in my mind When I walk up to you and say Adios girl, I'm on my way Now I know that everything's gonna be fine You're gonna drive me to drink 
the way you just didn't think about all the ways I could be better. And I think it's time to forget her and move on. Thank you. Uh, so I've kind of, this is the depressing part of the show. That's kind of a depressing song, you know, and this next song is kind of depressing as well. Uh, everybody knows the song uh, Cats in the Cradle, of course, and everybody's had like a relationship with that song, and uh, I was like, I want to write one of those kinds of songs. So uh, I wrote a song about uh, a dad and a son and how things don't go uh, as they should, and that by no means was my own story. My dad uh, <laughs> was everything he could have been, not like this guy. So this is an autobiographical, but it's depressing. Big fancy house, three car garage up on the hill. Saturday, Dad drives away as his son watches from his windowsill. The boy's got his cap and glove, his friends will pick him up for the last game of the year. And that winning team photo, I swear there's one boy with a tear. He's the kind of guy who can't find any time to be with his son. No story time or lullabies or even a kiss goodnight. There's no one is missing, but someday he just might. It's finally here, graduation day for his boy. When he missed us one, oh, it couldn't be fixed with a toy. Unpacked his things and left a note that said You never did your part Could buy half this town but could never buy my heart He's the kind of guy who can't find any time to be with his son and Now his son is gone to who knows where that fateful day it did come there was no story time or lullabies or even a kiss goodnight. He doesn't know what he's missing, but he's starting to find out tonight. Thirty years alone since his son walked out that door. Fortune's bigger than ever, but somehow he always wanted more. One day he saw a boy smiling and talking to his dad And he finally realized that's one thing he never had He's the kind of guy who can't find any time to be with his boy Thank you for clapping. Such a depressing song. It's weird how you uh, how people write songs because you know it that like I said that's not my situation at all and it probably wasn't Harry Chapin's situation either but uh, it's things just come to you and you know you you try to relay it maybe other people's experiences it's kind of a fun journey. Okay, and now <laughs> this is a song about my dad, my real dad. And all he wanted was a fair chance, so he moved his family to a better place. 
nice small town in the countryside where his two kids and expecting wife could feel safe where an honest day's work gave an honest day's pay at least once a year take your family away living the good life living day to day Taught me how to play basketball He coached my soccer team when I was a boy We all had bikes and a tent trailer He hated to pull it, but did it to see our joy When he was a kid, these times he never had Those tears in his eyes weren't from being sad for the right time Somehow we always ended up blessed He taught us sometimes it's an uphill road You gotta be ready to take a bad load And dust yourself off And get back on the road People say my dad died too young Well, I guess they didn't know My old man A beautiful wife and four children Three son-in-laws and a daughter-in-law too And eight grandkids age one to twenty-one Life is about what you get done Not how old not how old you get Amen Thank you <laughs> I did it <laughs> uh, this, uh, this song is called Small World and um, it's a song about people that work uh, away from home and what it means to be away from home and the people that are left behind that are keeping the home fires burning. And uh, yeah, it's a situation that a lot of people have to go through. It goes like this. Rain is coming straight down on my face Where is the sunshine in this place well, I got a lonely feeling won't let me be well, I barely get a chance to see my family Cause I may be working out on the range driving truck across the land or being far from home that's what my job demands I may be a doctor without borders Or a soldier taking orders Sometimes I just want to hold your hand Some say it's a small world well, I don't understand well, I know my work is worth it Cause I have a nice home And it don't change the fact that I'm still alone Ain't feeling sorry for myself Cause I choose who I am But I still wonder what would have happened If I followed a different path Cause I may be working out on the range Driving truck across the land Or being far from home That's what my job demands I may be a doctor without borders or a soldier taking orders 
Sometimes I just want to hold your hand Some say it's a small world I don't understand And if it's really true That this world is so small How come I have to settle for just a call? And I got a few good reasons For doing what I do the most important is coming home to you Cause I may be working out on the range Driving truck across the land Or being far from home That's what my job demands I may be a doctor without borders Or a soldier taking orders Sometimes I just want to hold your hand Say it's a small world, but I don't understand. Some say it's a small world, that's something that I don't understand. It's a small world, but I don't understand. Okay, so that's, I think that's pretty much it for the songs that are like, oh, it's, you know, let's uh, try and cue it a little lighter, maybe. <laughs> uh, this is a song I wrote, it's called uh, GNN, and uh, it's about um, how, you know the news, everybody knows the news, and it's always bad news. All you ever get is bad news. And... Uh, be fun if uh, there was a news station that just was like it's all good news it doesn't have to be like you know rainbows and unicorns just something nice right like just good news stories you don't you don't hear them they don't they don't sell uh, maybe they could I saw a movie called pay it forward be nice if world leaders would get on board it's a simple idea that could go so far I'm tired of stories of killing and stealing and war I'm gonna start a TV station called GNN Good News Network for me and all my friends Maybe write a daily paper, call it the happy times Good luck stories, no front page crime Got bad news every day coming down the pipe can't work things out in the USA, there's constant strife And it seems that no one can see eye to eye It's a never-ending battle when both sides think they're right Well, I'm gonna start a TV station called GNN Good News Network for me and all my friends Maybe write a daily paper, call it the happy times Good luck stories, no front page crime most people love to spread bad news And I heard enough about the guy with these short fuse The bank robber is a front page story About time we all started to worry TV station called the GNN Good News Network for me and all my friends Maybe write a daily paper, call it the happy times Good luck stories, no front page crime I'm gonna start a TV station called the GNN Good News Network for me and all my friends Maybe write a daily paper, call it the happy times Good luck stories, no front page crime. Good luck stories, no front page crime. Thank you.
Okay, this is uh, my sister and uh, brother-in-law's favorite song and my girlfriend's least favorite song. <laughs> oh, and it's the, also the most country song I've ever written because it's, it's about a pie plate. Like, you can't get much more country than a song about a pie plate, I don't think. The song's just called Pie Plate. <laughs> Farmhouse is still standing after 30 years of being abandoned. The old oak, the fruit trees in the garden still look like they are growing. And I couldn't scrape up enough money to save it from being torn down. The bulldozer driver turned to me and said, Do you want to have a final look around? Thinking there was nothing to be found And then I walked in the kitchen And covered in dust on the ground Was Grandma's old pie plate Handed down to my mom we Held fresh pie every Sunday The fruit grown in the yard And Grandma's old pie plate Was the greatest treasure That I could have found that day Something no one could measure How much grandma's old pie plate Would mean to my mom I picked it up, blew off the dust Brought it home to show my wife She recognized it right away and said Let's give it another life My ma would love to see it but she moved so far away So we cleaned it up And put it in a box And sent it to her that very day She opened it up She looked inside She found a little note Her eyes welled up When she read The few words that I wrote Here's Grandma's old pie plate Handed down to your mom you made fresh pie every Sunday With fruit grown in the yard Grandma's old pie plate Was the greatest treasure That I could have found that day Something no one could measure How much Grandma's old pie plate Means to your mom Grandma's old pie plate Grandma's old pie plate. This is where you can all sing along now. Grandma's old pie plate. Grandma's old pie plate. Grandma's old pie plate. Means something to us all. See what I mean? A pie plate. You write a song about anything if you want to write country music. Cigarettes in an ashtray, you could probably write songs about her. Okay, this is the first song, uh, country song that I ever wrote. Um, and it was inspired by a conversation with my sister back in the days when you could talk on cell phones and cars. I was driving home and she phoned me. She said, oh my God, I just found this picture of, of uh, her husband Andy letting go of uh, her son's bike seat. And that the picture, which is quite a momentous occasion in any kid's and parent's life, when your kid finally is like, wow, they're riding their bike, awesome. And uh, so she has this picture. Do you still have that picture? Yeah, great. So uh, I was like, wow, that sounds like a country song. And then by the time I had driven the rest of the way home, I had all the lyrics were written, came home and plucked out something fairly simple on guitar. And, uh, and that's when I really fell in love with country music. I wrote this song and I uh, thought, well, that's, that's a country song. There's no, there's no other genre that would slide into. And uh, 
then I had to quit the band that I was in. I played didgeridoo and xylophone and weird guitar and, and uh, it was quite experimental. And I said to my friend for playing together, for, I said, I gotta quit, I gotta quit. I, I gotta start a country band because all I can do is write country songs. There's something wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. And uh, anyways, this is the very first country song uh, I wrote. Enough chit chat. It's called Now You're Free. It's about a little girl growing up. When my hand left your bike seat for the very first time, I thought I'd cry forever because you were no longer mine. Well, I knew that day was coming, but it came way too fast. I wanted to carry you forever. But I knew that couldn't last And now you're free To head out on your own Now you're free To walk this world alone The path that you follow Well, I hope it leads you home My little girl, my little one think that you're grown Now high school is over Mom made your prom dress And all your friends are giggling They're trying to look their best New hair, new shoes, new makeup No longer a little girl You're on your way to college To discover a different world and now you're free To head out on your own Now you're free To walk this world alone The path that you follow Well, I hope it leads you home My little girl, my little one I think that you're grown This song is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's called Country Star, and it's what everybody wants to be. Especially me. Like, who doesn't want to be a country star? Wouldn't that be fun? When I was only seven, well, I saw my first big show. John Denver came to town, my folks got tickets in the first row. When my eyes were wide and my heart beat fast when he walked onto the stage. There was clapping and cheering from everyone of every age that I knew. Well, that's a job I wanted to, singing songs, playing guitar the whole night through. And I don't care if I have to travel wide or far. Ever since I was a little boy, I said I want to be a country star. About 
ten years later, I saw Dolly and Kenny, and their two voices joined together in perfect harmony. The gambler and the lady in her coat of many colors, they looked just like two best friends singing to each other that I knew. Well, that's a job I wanted to, singing songs and playing guitar the whole night through. I don't care if I have to travel wide and far. Ever since I was a little boy, I said I want to be a country star. Tickets to go see Willie at the Saddle Dome. Well, I wonder if he cares that is so far from home. Well, my jaw dropped open when I saw Willie's picking hands. And you couldn't wipe a smile off anyone's face in Willie's family band that I knew. Well, that's a job I wanted to. Singing songs, playing guitar the whole night through. I don't care if I have to travel wide or far. Ever since I was a little boy, I said I want to be a country star, and I don't care if I have to travel wide and far. Ever since I was a little boy, I said I want to be a country star. Thank you. <laughs> This is fun. I'm starting to be not nervous a little bit now. Um, I wrote this song. It's called Dream Girl. And uh, this is every man's dream girl. This isn't just mine. It's every man's dream girl. tongue in cheek, of course. <laughs> when I saw you at the bar, it didn't take very long for me to notice you were noticing me. When you started walking over, thought I found a four-leaf clover, knew my luck changed when you whispered in my ear. I love sports. I had to shake my head, girl, did you just say you love sports? She loves football, basketball, baseball, volleyball, hell man. She'd even watch darts. Well, she knows NFL Sunday doesn't end till Monday. And sometimes extra edits keep you up at night. Well, I fell in love right then and there. I'm going to watch sports with my new wife. Well, I couldn't believe my eyes when we went back to her place. Big screen TV covered the whole wall. Well, she put out a bowl of chips and offered me some onion dip, and then she cracked a butt and sat down to watch football. I love sports. I had to shake my head, girl. Did you just say you love sports? She loves football, basketball, baseball, volleyball, hell, man. She'd even watch darts. She knows NFL Sunday doesn't end till Monday And sometimes extra edicts keep you up at night Well, I fell in love right then and there I'm gonna watch sports with my new wife Now I'm the envy of all my good friends Cause my new wife never ever wrecks the weekend Cause she loves sports Can you believe it guys? I found a girl that loves sports She loves football, basketball, baseball, volleyball Hell man, she'd even watch darts She knows NFL Sunday doesn't end till Monday And sometimes extra edits keep you up at night I'm so in love with my new wife Home run boys, this is a lie Every man's dream girl, unless you don't like sports. Some boys don't like sports, you know? Like I live on Salt Spring, there's way too many guys that are like sports, too many sports. I'm like, sports man. <laughs> it's the only reality TV.
I'll give you that. It's the only real, it, sometimes it seems like it's staged because it's so good. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, Woo! trust me, I don't yeah. think it is. Yeah. Uh, sports. It's here for sports. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play a couple more tunes here for you, then I'm going to hand it off to Kara, uh, uh, real musician. Awesome. Uh, this is a song I wrote about uh, a fella. His name uh, is Billy McCree, and he lived in Alberta in 1905. It was the coldest winter ever. But the summer before that, he went all the way down to the southern United States, New Mexico, and he found himself this this beautiful woman that he was like, wow, like they fell in love. And summer, and it was so nice, it was great. He came back up to Alberta, and it was green, and it was beautiful. It's Southern Alberta, Pincher Creek, and uh, you know things were just dandy, and they were living in their little sod house. And then uh, winter came, <laughs> and she's like, "Wow, muy frío, so uh, too cold." And she said, "See you later," because uh, if you've never been in the cold like that, it's like it's you don't think that that actually people live in that kind of cold. And people that live back then in that kind of cold, it's like wow. I don't even know how people did it, but they've been living out here for eons without central heating somehow. It's crazy. Anyways, this song's called So Long, Senorita. Well, I know the reason you left mid-season You couldn't take winter anymore Since you've been gone well, I can't move on My world changed when you walked out that door Canadian winter Can be long and cold Before you left Wished you'd have known that all of the snow melts away in the spring, the warm sun it comes back again. Well, I know the cold well, that chilled you to your bones. You thought you would never get warm. Need I remind you that I could have held you? The cold ain't so bad in my arms. Lady in winter can be long and cold before you left. But I wished you'd have known that all of the snow melts away in the spring. Sun, it comes back again for so long, senorita, my darling, so long, so long. Spring is just round the bend. The days are getting longer, but my heart is getting stronger. I do believe my life's on the mend. Lady in winter, can be long and cold before you left. Well, I wished you'd have known that all of
Thank you. All right, I'm gonna play one more tune for you guys. This is a song called The Price He Pays. It's like another song about people that work away from home. And uh, again, I, I've, it's never been me, you know, so <laughs> it's coming to me somehow. But uh, it, yeah, it's called The Price He Pays. been home for three nights. His wife and kids will be fast asleep when it starts a two-day drive. Go up into the north country for 45 days of hell. Working on a drilling rig to bring the world another barrel. Rough that work takes him far from home A sacrifice that he's willing to make Put food on the table and clothes on the back For a family that he won't forsake And it'd be a lot sweeter if he could jump into his beater And head on home for the night Cause all his loved ones are a thousand miles away Tucked in them city that's a price of oil That's a price he paid 24-7-365 The drilling it don't slow down It hits the ground I hope you're dressed for the weather, boy It's gonna be 40 below I'm Working through anything Survive until he can get home Rough at work takes him far from home Sacrifice what he's willing to make Put food on the table and clothes on the back for a family that he won't forsake. And it'd be a lot sweeter if he could jump into his beater and head on home for the night. Cause all his loved ones are a thousand miles away, tucked in them city lines. That's a price of oil. That's the price he Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. <laughs>